my name is Federico Mujer. I'm from Argentina, Mar del Plata. It's a small town by the beach in Argentina, close to Buenos Aires, like 300 miles away from Argentina. No, actually 200 miles away from Buenos Aires, the capital. Um, I played tennis all my life, ever since I was seven or six. With my brothers and uh, you know my parents, and then uh, you know I played juniors in Argentina and a lot of places in, the, in Europe. Uh, most of them tournaments under 18, which we call it juniors, and uh, that was that was a lot of fun. I uh, I I played some professionals too. Uh, right after right after high school actually. Two years and then that didn't work out. It's several reasons, you know. I guess maybe maybe someday you can you can ask me about that. It's a, it's a long story actually. You know, you get to learn a lot from it. When you are when you're a kid, you know, and you and you love your father, you know, whatever he does you feel like doing, right? And you think it's, gonna, it's the right thing. And uh, my father was playing tennis. He's the one that introduced me to tennis. And you know, there was never a doubt in my mind, ever since I started, that I would, I would play other sport rather than tennis. It's, it's not, I was not one of those kids that, at the age of 13, had to decide it. Oh, I either play soccer or I play tennis. It was tennis all the way. It was all the way. But you're kind of a beach boy as well, aren't you? Or <laughs> <laughs> true, it's true, it's true. Yeah, I grew up in a beach town. Uh, so the ocean is, is an important part of your life. And uh, because the ocean, you know, you, you, it has so many meanings in your life when you grow, you know, up close to it. Uh, you know, you're, you don't feel right, you go, you go, you know, you watch the ocean, you see, you know, and then, I don't know, it's a great place to go out with your girlfriend, it's a great place to go out with your friends, your family. It's a lot of fun in the summer, you know, with the waves and you can surf, you can do different things, so, yeah. I think, uh, you know, since I grew up in Mar del Plata, I'm, a, I'm kind of a beach boy. Well, um, I, I, I think that I, I know that kind of guy that, that will coach you or will teach you just so you have fun. You know, it's about having fun, it's about learning. What I think is that in order to learn, you have to bring 100% of you every day. Even you know, it's like me. I get a work, you know, I get a job. If I want to get better, I I'm not gonna get better at it just by having fun. You know, so so um, I like to I like to see a lot of effort from from my students, and that that's why uh, you know I think I'm a little. Uh, I'm a little tough when I teach, but that's that's probably the way I learn. <laughs> uh, but 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 I never forget while I'm coaching that it's it's also about having fun. You know? it's, it's a big part of of learning, of enjoying it, of trying to get better at it. If you don't have fun, it's almost impossible to get better. It's like, I've seen a lot of kids that play tennis, and it's not that they play tennis because they want to play tennis, it's because maybe somebody else wants them to play tennis. Mm -hmm. And um, and they have great talent, most of them. A lot of them have great talent, but you just don't see them improving because they, they, are, they don't want to be there in the first place. And something that, you know, people, especially parents, need to understand that it's always good to push your son, you know, your daughter, it's always good to push. But you gotta know your limits, you know. 
you gotta always make sure that they are doing it because they want to do it, you know? Claudio, for example. He maybe he won one tournament out of how many? Right? And uh, that tournament that he won, he probably played great. For example, when he played, when he won the French Open, right? He played out of his mind. But why he didn't play out of his mind in the week right after that one? Because well, I played out of my mind. If I do it once, I can do it a hundred times, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out that way. You know, so therefore, most of the tournaments that will, you know, you can win one tournament and then that keep, you know, it's going to keep you at a certain level, a certain place in the rankings. But then it's all the other tournaments that have to add up. If the other tournaments don't add up, and and you know, adding that to to the fact that you may play bad when you've been playing unbelievable, you know, that requires a lot of mental toughness. You know. But it's not different than when you are, you know, I guess, a father and, and you are on your own there trying to make money to feed your children, you know? I don't think it's that different. But again, you know, you say tennis is a sport. Well, if you're a tennis player, you suffer a lot. It's not when you watch the US Open and you see, you know, fair recognizing the trophy like this and you say, Wow, that would be amazing. You know, you gotta get into the feelings of the kids that went all the way to New York to play the qualies, you know, to qualify, and they didn't make it, and now they took the next plane right away, as soon as possible, in order to get as soon as possible to the next tournament, you know, and maybe Federer plays the US Open in two weeks, and one guy that is 100 in the world, 120 in the world, is, is playing four tournaments in that two weeks. Qualies, went to another one, main draw, you know, it's, it's just crazy, it's crazy. So tennis is not about Federer, Nadal, it's about all the other guys that are doing a super tough shot, you understand? Yes. Tough shot. Okay, this is Nacho, my brother, uh, it's uh, not my youngest brother, he's the one that follows me. Uh, we have two more brothers, Guido and Lucia. Anyway, this is Nacho and he's also a tennis player and uh, he studied in Oklahoma. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let him talk. Well, actually we have a younger brother and a younger sister, so now that we have two more brothers. R remind him. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, yeah. Because it sounded Lucia, a very feminine game, <laughs> yeah. feminine name for a guy. But yeah, I'm Nacho, my real name is Ignacio. And uh, I've been in the United States for five years and a half. Yeah, I came here to play tennis as well. Um, I graduated two years ago, then I uh, started to uh, work as an assistant coach in the same team where I played at. And um, I finished a master's degree as well. Just now? So, just now, yeah, so two weeks ago. So uh, that would be a brief summary of my life here in the States. That's, an, um, that's the first thing he beats me at, by the way. Finishing the NBA earlier than me. <laughs> <laughs> I always kick his ass and everything. But golf. I golf. Golf? <laughs> you know, I had to say that he's much better than me. Right? Well, because I played <laughs> longer than you have. No. That's why. Yeah, but he's a great golfer, man. You know, it's, it's a really funny guy. He's a really funny kid. It's uh, probably the laziest. The laziest, the laziest uh, when it comes to tennis. See, because when he's doing something that he really likes to do, he is by far the best of us. Vivir sonreír, ama, vale la pena hacerlo cada momento de tu vida. 